Some people are just so poor, so poor, so absolutely poor that all they have is money. And thus I say, if you want to know how rich you are, then count all those things you have that money cannot buy. Whenever we look at a beautiful tree, one of the most essential parts of the tree is its roots. And when we talk about the roots, a healthy tree has healthy roots. The deeper the roots, the stronger the roots, the tree stands strong in storms, cyclones, hurricanes and tornadoes. And the roots are not seen to our eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, those roots are compared to our spirituality. Our achievements are seen to people, our gadgets are seen to people, our money is seen to people, our accolades are seen to people, our charisma is seen to people, our success is seen to people. What's not seen to the eyes of the people is our roots, our spiritual development. And therefore I always say, if we do not work on what is unseen, it's very difficult to sustain what is seen. One of my friends in Mumbai, he purchased a very slick Lamborghini. He's a wealthy guy. He purchased a very slick posh yellow Lamborghini. He's a Gujarati. So he called me from the showroom and he said to me, Swamiji, Hindi mein bole wo. Swamiji, aap pagla karenge? I said to him, bhai, dunya pagli hai. Ab aur kisko pagla karenge? He said, nahi, nahi. In Gujarati, pagla means, will you kindly touch your feet to my car? Pagla. Ghar ka pagla karenge, gaadi ka pagla karenge, office ka pagla karenge, which basically meant, will you bless my car? I said to him, bhai, Lamborghini hai. Kyo nahi karenge pagla? Sadhuon ko kab Lamborghini ka pagla karne? I said, please come along, you know. The gentleman drove to where I lived. And he said to me, well, uh, we'll go for about a 15 minutes drive. I said, fair, let's go. We started off. As we were driving, I was in the passenger seat, the guy in the driver's seat. The 15 minutes drive had turned into 25, 35 rather. At the end of 35 minutes, I said to him, look, I need to get back because I need to attend a meeting. Can I, can we drive back? What this man did, shocked me to the core. Probably will shock you to the core. This man started crying like a baby. I asked him to park the car near the sidewalk. I said to him, what happened? With great difficulty he spoke and he said, just three days back, my wife has filed papers for divorce. I love her. My children love her. She's one of the best mothers that one can ever have. And we don't want to miss her. We tried everything possible. It just doesn't work. Of course, I tried to console him, pacify him. And then I was thinking to myself, the world sees his Lamborghini. The world sees his success. The world sees his bank balance. The world sees his popularity. The world sees all of these things. And I sit with the who's who in the country. And when they confide with me, I see what's happening inside. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, the trunk of the tree is visible to our eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, the crown of the tree is visible to our eyes. But the roots of the tree, which are underneath the soil, which are invisible to our eyes, is our inner development, our spiritual development. And unless we make that spiritual development and our spiritual growth strong, the storms, the hurricanes, the cyclones of life, do get over to us and bog us down, pull us down in life. Therefore I say, some people are just so poor, so poor, so absolutely poor that all they have is money. And thus I say, if you want to know how rich you are, then count all those things you have that money cannot buy. I'm not saying money is bad. I'm not saying we shouldn't have money. I'm just saying 
that we can't connect that as the be all and the end all of life if you have ever been on a flight the members of the cabin crew will come there and say ladies and gentlemen this is a seat belt i know this you have buckle it i know i know some pilots are sitting here i must apologize <laughs> i you know if there be a lack of oxygen supply in the cabin oxygen masks will drop from the cabin above your head secure your mask properly and breathe normally make sure your oxygen mask is secured properly before you help others god i thought this is the height of selfishness but if you don't keep yourself in place you can't help others if you don't have resources you can't share your resources if you don't feel love you can't share love if you don't feel hope you can't give hope if you don't feel uplifted you can't uplift others therefore be selfish first care for your roots care for your trunk because only when your roots and trunk are in place then the crown can give others how many of you look to like to look beautiful any of you like to look handsome our our late late president shri abdul kalam ji said a very nice thing which left a deep mark on me he said if you really want to look handsome give your hand to some and you will automatically look handsome because handsomeness is not about beauty and looks it's about how we contribute to people i conclude by saying if you are beautiful it's god's gift to you if you live your life beautiful it's your gift to god